Echelon is a perfect faction for people who like to be sneaky. They can cloak, spot enemies behind walls, and hide from the minimap. They are well suited for smaller maps with multiple passages and places to hide with their intel suit, and they can be good on larger maps with their cloak, which can help them get across open areas safely. What's really good about Echelon is that they are useful in every game type. Every faction can be used in all game modes, but like GSK for example, they excel at objective modes, built for holding a point or guarding a flag. Echelon is more of an all-around faction, so they're really good for players who are learning the game. The passive trait is low profile. You won't appear on the enemy's minimap regardless of what you do. Normally, if you fire your weapon without a silencer, you'll ping on the enemy's minimap, but with the Echelon you won't. Of course, they will still hear you, but it may give you an advantage. It won't save you from the enemy Echelon using the intel suit or sonar goggles. They will still see your silhouette through walls, so don't think you'll be completely invisible. One of their two active abilities is the Digital Ghillie Suit. It will make you mostly invisible. Think the Predator. But moving and aiming will reduce the effect, making it easier for the enemy to spot you. If you're playing against more seasoned players, the Ghillie Suit may not be as helpful as you think. This game is very movement oriented, and since movement and aiming reduces its effect, don't be surprised if you get sniped from across the map while you're using it. Its best use would be either guarding a location or recon of enemies. Something you can do while stationary and not aiming. Guarding B on domination with a shotgun, for example, or in the plane on Mayday. Get around a corner, ghillie up, and hide behind a box. An enemy sprinting down a hallway won't be ready for a 12 gauge to the back. Once you fire your weapon, the ability will end even if there's time left, so make sure that you're ready to be seen. It's not as useful as you would think for sniping, since the snipers have a glint that will give their position away. However, if you're using any other weapon with a red dot, a hollow, or iron sights, the ghillie suit will be very useful. The other active ability is the intel suit. It will show the location of enemies to you and your team, and they will also show up on the minimap. It will briefly show the enemy's outline if they are behind an obstacle or on the other side of a wall. Since the latest update, the intel suit will ping enemy locations every 4 seconds rather than the previous 3, and the enemies will be shown for 1 second instead of 2.7 seconds, which is what it was before the update. It was definitely a bit overpowered before, so I think they found a good balance with this. You really want a smaller map for the intel suit, or a map with converging routes. The range of the suit is quite small, you're likely to only really reach the next room over, but it will ping enemies above and below you, so don't forget to think laterally. It can ping other echelon players, but with the passive, they still won't show up on the minimap. You'd have to be looking in their direction for the silhouette. The ultra is sonar goggles. It will show you all enemies through all obstacles, and will give you a pistol that does huge damage. 90 damage for a body shot, and a one-hit kill with a headshot. For the duration of the ultra, you will only have the pistol. It will also show only you the enemies. Your teammates will see nothing, but teammate kills during the ultra will give you an assist. The Ultra doesn't last a very long time, so if you use it far from the enemy team, it won't do you that much good. It's a good way to just delete a few enemy players from holding a point, escorting a package, or guarding a flag. It's also a good way to keep a nice kill streak going in Team Deathmatch, though you won't get any weapon experience from the kills. Once it's available, try and get near the enemy team. Time it with the location change on Occupy when you know the enemy team is traveling between two known locations. If the enemy is pushing hard on B in domination throughout the round, get into a good spot to punish them for it. On escort, you know the attacking team will be grouped around the package, and easy to pick off. On hotshot, you already know generally where the hotshot is, but the goggles will help you see if there are enemy players playing bodyguard. There are countless other times you can use this ultra, but just make sure that it doesn't go to waste. So, that was a brief overview of how Echelon works, and some tips and tricks. Check out my other videos on some of the other factions in the game, and until next time, later.